Hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Nick, and this is your Indie Gamer News for January 29th, 2016. Alright guys, I just wanted to say thanks a lot for all the support I got in that Punch Club review to my friends and to my viewers. You guys have been really supportive, it's been awesome. I spent a long time on that video, and I think it came out pretty good. If you want to check it out, if you haven't seen it yet, just uh, click, click here. It should be playing of editing. Okay, on to the news. You guys know that I love dungeon crawlers. I'm going to talk about two of them today. News from Wannabe Games got my attention on Kickstarter today. This is the Kickstarter game of the week. It's a dungeon crawl that kind of looks like Spelunky. It's about a girl who has terrible nightmares every night and she starts getting haunted by a demon called the News. In these dreams, she must find keys and solve puzzles to escape so she can awaken into the next day. That's one half of the game. The other half of the game, in her waking life, is a point-and-click adventure where she interacts with normal things in her life. The gimmick is the things that she interacts with end up in the dreams. So say there's a day where she adopts a puppy. In her dream that night, she may have that dog helping her through her nightmares. Let's take a look. And this helped you achieve the confusion and nightmarish feel we were aiming for because everything changes like every time you dream. We decided to put the game on Kickstarter to have it in time and to tune it into what we know the game can give which is an incredible adventure. To do this, we need funding to increase the number of people that work in the game, like programmers and artists, to develop the missing parts of news. So, there are some remakes of Maniac Mansion coming out. They're old point-and-click adventures from the 80s and 90s. Did, did you ever play those? I played them a little bit in school. I was never too into them, but my roommate is very much into them. And he's been busting my chops for weeks to do a segment about them, but I don't care about them that much. So without further ado, here's my roommate and landlord, Joel! Like most gamers growing up, I was always a console player, but I was also definitely a PC player. And one of my favorite games growing up was Laser Suit Larry. It used to give me funny feelings in new places. But seriously, one of my favorite games of all time was Maniac Mansion. In the coming months, we have not one, but two remakes coming out by two separate developers. The first remake is gonna be a brand new version of the original Maniac Mansion by Vampire Games. Now it's an indie developer, and they're not doing it for profit, they're only doing it for fun. So it's gonna be downloadable for free, and that's due out within a few months. The well-received sequel to Maniac Mansion, Day of the Tentacle, is being remastered by Double Fine, known for its classic remakes. All your favorites are coming back, including Bernard, Dr. Edison, Hoagie, the... no, f Say that line again. All your favorites are coming back. Dr. Edison, Bernard, George Washington, Hoagie, and Purple Tentacles trying to take over the world. What more could you want? Day of the Tentacle is due out in March, and it's gonna be on PC, Mac, PlayStation and the Vista. No. Vita? What's Vita? Oh, Vita I'm sorry. What's Vita? Sorry. Yeah, that's the PlayStation handheld. Mom and Dad are always talking about. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. Time for me to save the world, I guess. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? <laughs> I feel like I could take, take all the world. Day of the Tentacle is going to be released on multiple platforms, including PC, Mac, PlayStation, and Vita. Wow, Joel, thanks. That was incredibly informative and articulate. So guys, I love, love Mega Man. You would know that if you were subscribed to this channel or any of my previous channels. Something weird happened a few years ago, though, where Capcom just stopped making Mega Man games. I have no idea why. The creator of Mega Man, Keiji Inafune, split off from Capcom a few years ago and opened up his own studio called Concept. He started a Kickstarter for a spiritual successor to Mega Man called Mighty Number no. 9 that looks awesome. We've been waiting for it for a long time. It's had a couple different delays here and there for something with network bugs or some crap like that. I'm not really sure. But it's finally coming out February 9th and... Oh, oh, sorry. It's my phone. Phone's going off. Hold on, what's that? Oh, it's an email from the, uh, from their Kickstarter. 
They probably added some new features or something because they had a whole bunch of new time. Let's see. Uh, regarding the Mighty Number no. 9 release, oh yeah, it's definitely good. It's going to be some new stuff. To the fans eagerly awaiting recent Mighty Number no. 9, unfortunately, we've announced that we'll be very disappointing all of you. And prefer. Motherfucker! Appears the mighty number nine has been delayed once again until the spring because of bugs with the networking side of the game. It's a Mega Man game. We don't need. It's a Mega Man game. We don't need networking. I just need to kill the bosses and get their powers. That's it. That's all I need. Okay. All right. Hey guys, who wants a quick thrill for cheap cash? Wait a second. Who wants to get a rise for just a dollar? Hold on. On this week's edition of Cheap Fun, we have Dragon Sweeper. This game is free, but I donated a little bit of scratch to it. It's pretty fun. Do you like NES and Game Boy era RPGs? Do you have 360 no scope skills when it comes to Minesweeper? Well then, you might like Dragon Sweeper. It has three different classes with different skills and five different difficulties on randomly generated maps. So the idea is that you clear this map like Minesweeper, looking for enemies to fight and looking for uh, towns to go to to get items, but ultimately you're looking for the dragon of the map and if you can defeat him, you win. The idea is that they're trying to pack in an old school era JRPG experience into five to 15 minutes. It's good doses, quick shots of fun. Uh, I liked it a lot. If you, if you wanna play that, go check it out in the uh, description down below. Here's some gameplay footage. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Indie Gamer News. Uh, how did it go? Do you like these segments that I'm doing? Do you think we should add anything? Should I take anything out? Well, once again, I'm, I'm asking for some input. Are there any games on anybody's radar that I should be looking at? I mean, I'm only one guy. It's kind of hard to gather news. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to see some more stuff in the future. My name is Nick. This channel is called Indie Gamer News, and I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.